Hey y'all, welcome to Magic Monday. Lots going on. A lot is going on. Here we are, June 1st. Wow. It's a time where I felt like it would never be June. So I am about to embark in my studio. Show you what I've got on the slab. Um, oh darn, oh I left it over by my altar. I did my monthly card pull for June, and I got the Goddess of Peace. Now, I have plans to predominantly work with um, watercolor today, but I'm also feeling the vibe to color block, and I like to color block with um, highlighters and gel pens. So I always get like out a little bit of everything. I even have my crayons because with my uh, newer, larger coloring books, they're much larger than the coloring planner. I also have my crayons out to just, you know, those large pages are calling crayon to me. They're calling just blending and shading and all kinds of yummy colorness and um, so one of the things I do with this particular art therapy is if you want to heal your nervous system and create new neuro pathways changing up how you do something is great changing the tools you use the the type of textures the way you hold the tool is all challenging your brain and your nervous system to lay down new neuro pathways to accommodate or the reawakened new habits. I have limelight on the bowl, a nice sativa. I've got some corn tortillas, a little hot sauce and butter and burzy, some pink Himalayan salt, and my coffee. I'm getting ready to start my day. For any of you who saw yesterday's, yesterday's video, I talked a lot about doorways and being in between. And right now we're in between. We're in an in-between state of, in my country, especially, um, but as well as globally, of tearing down the old and creating something new. So one of the things that supports me in my environment that I love is right out this door I have this giant fucking ass redwood. And I think of the wisdom of this tree. I think of how long it's been there and everything that's constructed around it. And how we all recognize and honor this wisdom that we build our lives around it in instead of removing it. So that's one of the things I loved about Northern California. But also talking about doorways. Um, I feel so much tightness in my chest that I put on Spotify. Their playlists, classics for crying. Never heard a lot of them. But oh gosh, yeah. The feels are coming up. <laughs> They're really coming up. So I want to leave you with this. Um, talk about the wisdom of the tree. And as we start to unlock our power and as we're coming summer solstice, you know, we're bridging into the heart chakra. So it's really about connecting our values with our power. And if we feel disempowered to live at our highest values, live at our value of being able to provide with enough resources, living at a value of being able to move through your life energetically with the resources you need to maintain vibrant health. Um, that emotionally, the people that you are surrounded with, who you're connected with, are filling your day with joy and humor, and you look forward to being in their presence. It's a gift. These, this is, um, this is soul food. And that's a lot what I talked about in terms of the in-between magic is this is where we dig in for the soul food as we're waiting. And the wisdom from my own anger is that I look at how I can direct my anger to affect change. What are the resources I have? What are the health resources? Where are the financial resources? If I am unable to afford bail... I would never go to a protest. Now, I had 
So I would channel my finances and energy into what I was able to do. Phone calls, letter writing, uh, what somebody <laughs> turned as white girl shit, <laughs> but I'm half white, so um, <laughs> I do a little bit of both. Um, so anger alchemy, you know, the rage is real, the, the, the frustration, the, 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 the trouble we're having breathing. So as we open up and connect our power with our heart so that we connect it with our focus and feel that energy travel out through our fingertips into our efforts in the world, we need to breathe into it. We need to love it. We need to listen. We need to ask for solutions. You need to ask what can go right now. What, what small thing can I change? I know that will have that ripple effect in the quantum field of possibility. And with each breath, how can I affect change that I am able to move with a deeper piece of connection, piece of alignment, this, this, this clarity that creates inner peace so that I'm even more free to direct even more energy, more of my focus, more of my creative intelligence into standing strong and building something new. Peace out. <laughs>